Okay, we've got some movement here. Playing a little song for you. This is Axel F. It's from the movie Beverly Hills Cop. If you can remember back to the 80s. Eddie Murphy. I'm playing that just by varying the frequency at which I step the motors. up a little bit. Alright, this is about our range of motion. Left, up, right, down, back to center. Now with these NEMA 17 stepper motors, I'm about as fast as I can go. I'm, I'm half stepping it, but I'll show you the electronics in just a second. And I'm using some fairly cheap um, H bridges to run the steppers, so you don't get that micro stepping that you need to to get the high speeds out of these things. So this is half stepping, and you know, around 1,200 steps a second is about all you can get out of these things. Okay, so that's the range of motion that we've got going there. All right, yes, I need a little bit of cable management, but here's what we got going on. So here's the motherboard, so to speak. I've got a, uh, I got this junky old Raspberry Pi. I mean, this thing is old. It's not hot. It's old. It's um. This is a version 1 B plus model so it's not good enough to um, it's not good enough to do the video I don't think but I was just doing it to prototype these motors out get this thing running and then what I think I'm gonna go to is uh, Pine 64 makes a Rock 64 which it's same um, platform same dimensions as the Raspberry Pi but it's quite a bit more of a uh, little computer so we'll see about that in the future so got this I'm running um, SSH over to my big computer controlling everything from there and so basically what I got here I've got four sets of pinouts no let's see I only got three hooked up okay so I got a little development area here which I'm not really using except to distribute some power uh, to the Raspberry Pi. So these are hooked up to a computer power supply. So that's 12. That's ground. This is five right here. So I've got these daisy chained together. These are H bridges. So each one of these will handle um, a stepper motor. Probably going to need another stepper motor to pull the trigger. So I went ahead and put that thing in there. I've got a, uh, this is another little H bridge just so I can put some, uh, run run some lights or switches or a laser. Got that on there just in case. I'm not there yet though. So, uh, these are mostly a bunch of cables that I had sitting around from an old television that I took apart, flat screen television. These are pretty good. These are, um, Across the coil, there's only 12 and a half ohms, so these are pulling some pretty good amperage there. So these are pretty decent uh, NEMA 17 motors, and they're good enough for this. Okay, so this uh, is one. This is the X X axis, and this is motor two. It's the Y axis. I also have wiring for motor three, which runs. Up, up there it is right there let me see if I can here it is right here it's extra wire because I'll probably have to put the motor I don't know the trigger motors got to go on this wheel right there somewhere so okay so this is just wrapped around pulls the slack out next time I when I redo this thing I'm gonna use hollow shafts on these things so I can run the wiring down through the shaft because this is not 
this is not optimal. All right, so I didn't use the tensioners that I had. I just got uh, it running around the pulley. And then well, I'll show you on this one. Okay, so it just runs around the pulley. I've got these wheels are acting as the pulley. These are just some washers glued on there as guides. And then right here, this is a, a tensioner that came with this belt. Okay, so I'm just using that tensioner to keep the belt a little bit tight. Okay, so all we've got here is I glued a piece of the belt. Actually, we're going to cut that. I'm going to get in and do it up close. All right, up close. If you look in there, you'll see there's a piece of belt glued on under there. It's glued onto the wheel and then this belt is split in the middle right there so half comes up here and it hooks into the to the cogs on the piece that's glued on and then I just put this uh, little piece of metal on there zip tied it down holds it on there great if you need to take it off you just cut that zip tie lift that metal up a little bit belt drops right off and then it's pretty easy you just Pull the tensioner tight, stick the belt up in there, push that down with your finger, it'll catch on those cogs, it'll hold it just fine. Put your zip tie on there, good to go. Those tensioners are just little springs. They came, they came with the belt when I ordered it. I ordered long, you know, like three meters of belt. Nothing high tech about this, but so far, pretty good few things I would change would be uh, I'd put more hold down spaces for cables in here. I would have used hollow shafts in there so that I could run all the cabling down through there instead of this rig that I've got up under here. So it just backs the cable up right there. Yeah. I know these are horrible shots, but it backs the cable up right there. And then it just pulls the cable tight, so it comes around this way. I don't have much, you know, I don't have that far to go, so it just wraps it around the bottom there. It'll work for this uh, experimental thing. This thing will be to add a laser, and then the next thing will be to uh, do some more with cameras, so we can get our targeting down, and um, and we'll be done. All right, let's finish up with uh, some music. Oh, let me zero this thing. So we want a zero to start out with. This is actually being played by the stepper motors. It's just uh, different frequencies that I'm running it. So here we go.